Hey everyone, I'm Will, and if you've ever wanted to make that grainy Xeroxy photocopy effect for something like a grunge album cover or for any type of art, I've got you covered. Start by getting your picture situated in Photoshop and make sure that your colors down here are set to black and white. If they aren't, just hit this button. Now go to Filter, Filter Gallery. Go to Texture and select Grain. Set both of these sliders to around 40, but for these and any other settings we'll touch on later, feel free to adjust them to fit your piece. You can also change the type of grain if you'd like, but I'm going to keep mine the default. Now hit this button to add another filter, and for this one we're going to go to Sketch, and you might think we're going to go to Photocopy, but we're actually going to go with Stamp. Set the smoothness really low to like 1 or 2, and then set the light dark balance to around 12. And that's it! Now here's a little side banner I made just to make it look like an album cover. You really only have to do that part if you want to though. Let's talk about color real quick though before we go. Our stamp filter reduced our coloring to two values, black and white, which is fun, but what if we want color? Well, if you just want to change one color, easiest thing is to go down here and select solid color. Choose the one that you want, and then change the blending mode to multiply. You can also choose a different blending mode which will affect the values in different ways, but multiply is a good baseline. Now what about if we wanted two colors? For that, I'd recommend going to the same place and choosing a gradient map. You can make your own gradient here if you'd like, or Photoshop has got a ton of pre-made ones you can use. Just remember we can only work with two values, so any gradients that have more colors than that will only show whatever ones are on the sides of the gradient. I think I'm going to go with this one in purple, and yeah, that looks, uh, that looks pretty girly pop to me. I'm going to hide it really quick though because our last color option is something I've heard people talking about in similar tutorials to this one, and that's what if you want to use the original colors of the picture. That's super easy. All you have to do is make a copy of the picture, and now hide the filter effects of the original and change the blending mode of the copy to multiply if you want it to have dark shading like this, or if you want it to have even more of the original's color and you want it to be a bit softer, set it to overlay instead. And now you know how to make a grunge Xerox effect as well as how to color it in Photoshop. Even though working on design projects may be a lot of fun, it's still incredibly time consuming and even challenging. To help you save time while still creating good work, we've got design templates for Photoshop which allow you to finish projects within minutes instead of hours. So if you want to get started saving time now, start by checking out our links in the description below.